friends, welcome back to my kitchen where everything is scratch made and home preserved. I'm Jenny, if you're new, welcome. It's dinner time and we are gonna do a budget friendly dinner. I've got about a half a pound of ground beef and we are gonna make this stretch. Today's dinner is gonna be some yummy picadillo. Pull a chair up to my counter and let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is make some sauce because I like a good sauce to go on. Bringing this up to a boil. White onion, I cut it in half. I'm gonna put half in here. Okay, so there is my half a onion in there. I'm putting in two jalapenos. I'm really waiting for that to boil. Oop, oop. And then I'm going to put tomatoes in as soon as this starts boiling. And I'm going to go grab my uh, blender. Okay, my water is boiling. Tomatoes going in. We just want to cook these until all the peels start coming off here. Um, and then we're going to throw them into a blender. If you've never made fresh salsa, this is a super easy way. You can take an iron skillet and blister all the vegetables and do it that way. Um, I like them both ways. I really love this. I use, I need garlic in there too, actually. Okay, so I've got about four cloves of garlic. I'm gonna dump those right in without peeling them. You can peel them first if you want. You can eat, actually puree them with the skin on. It actually thickens it a little bit. Doing a quick salsa like this is my favorite. It's my go-to for pouring over Tacos, picadillo, um, potatoes, anything. And off to the side here, I'm just cutting up the rest of the things that I will need for my picadillo. Okay, here is my blender. I've put one tomato in there. I'm just kind of pulling the peels off as I put them in. Because I don't like the peels. I don't like the taste of them. But you don't have to. You can just throw the whole tomato in. Jeez, it's noisy in here today. My phone keeps going off. The dogs are playing. Again, this makes it really fast if you don't take the peels off your tomatoes. I'm just pulling them off. Okay, you want to hear something crazy? Just because it's... It could be just me. I am I feel like I'm a weirdo a little bit. But you ever put flea powder on your dog or cat? Now, I remember this from the 80s. The way that the flea powder smells, that's how I feel tomato peels smell and what I envision they would taste like. So that smell in my nostrils just has a flea powdery smell from the tomatoes. I don't like tomato skin. <laughs> Sounds weird and you're probably all going to be like, what? Okay, now my jalapenos. All I'm going to do is cut the top off, the stem part. I'm putting the seeds and everything in. It does make it a little spicy. If you want to cut yours open and remove your seeds, feel free. I'm taking my garlic out of the peel, but you definitely don't have to. They actually slip out pretty easy. Because they're cooked. Two limes. I'm going to cut them in half and squeeze the juice in. And I tried so hard to keep it quiet in here today. I even turned off all the fans and it is hot. It's almost 100 degrees today. And here we are. End of April. <laughs> okay, even though I put four plum tomatoes in there, I used two jalapenos and mine is heavily green from that. So it has more of a heavy jalapeno flavor, which is stinking delicious, let me tell you. It's not spicy hot, it's just delicious. So I'm gonna leave mine like that. I love it. You can put oil in a pan and pour this into the hot oil. Be very careful, wear your protective eyewear, and cook it, which I might do. But for now, I'm gonna get my picadillo, picadillo started. Getting started with the picadillo, I have got a couple tablespoons of oil heating up in my pan. I have four russet potatoes, about medium potatoes, that I have peeled and diced. So I'm just gonna put those right in the oil. We're gonna start cooking those a little bit. So picadillo is kind of a, you throw in leftovers, whatever you got. 
There's no um, recipe that's stick to your guns. Traditionally, this is made with ground beef, but you can use ground pork, you can use ground turkey, you can use ground chicken. Use what you have. This is kind of going in stages. I'm putting my potatoes in first, but on my cutting mat here, I've got onions and tomatoes cut up. So I cut up one entire white onion to go in, and then um, I've cut up a half of a white onion. I use the other half from the sauce, the salsa, so the other half is cut up raw so that we can just put that on our video and eat it. You know this household's all about the onions. Okay, so I'm just gonna let these cook for a few minutes. And when I see they start getting a little bit of brown on them, then we're gonna push them to the side, add the ground beef and onions. You know though, I'm gonna season as I go. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle these with some salt. And some pepper. Okay, I've sprinkled my onions in on top of my potatoes. And I have a pan here with a little bit of oil. I'm heating this up. I'm going to pour my sauce on there, my salsa. The potatoes don't have to cook all the way because we are going to put water in here and we're going to cover it and cook them, really cook them. Okay, here's my chunk of ground beef going in. And on top of my ground beef, my tomatoes. This is four plum tomatoes that I've chopped up. On top of this, a little bit more salt and pepper, just to cook with. Okay, I'm gonna cook this down for a little bit. Okay, I have a can of green chilies, seven ounces. This is from my pantry stash from when I got two cases of this in a haul. In a $40 haul. So that is going in. And I am putting, I'm out of fresh garlic, so I'm just gonna use garlic powder. But I'm gonna put a good two teaspoons of garlic powder in. Putting a, about a teaspoon of ground cumin. And then I put a rounded teaspoon of Mexican oregano in there. I didn't show it because I'm filming on my phone and I need both hands to crack it up. So we're just going to get all this mixed together. The chickadillo smells so good when it's cooking. Once we get the water in here, we just let it simmer for a little while. I'd put onion powder in here too if I had it. I would just come to the store too and totally forgot it. Use the store for lunch meat and all the way there I'm thinking, don't forget the onion powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and put about three quarters of a cup of water in there. And then I am adding chicken bouillon. About a teaspoon and a half. I like the flavor of the chicken bouillon the best. We always mix it with beef flavors. You can use beef if you feel weird about it. I have had people ask me why. <laughs> Does it taste good? Okay. You can turn this down, cover it, and let it simmer. After about 10 minutes, take your lid off and let the Liquids start to evaporate a little bit and condense down. And we'll just cook it for a few more minutes so it starts to dry up a little bit, and then we're gonna make, we're gonna cook our tortillas.
Okay, I pulled it off the heat. I'm letting it cool off a little bit. I am now down to my tortillas. I will link my tortilla video in the description box below for you if you do not know how to make tortillas. But make some homemade. It is super cheap and delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and Ooh, ooh, hopefully not too sticky. Nope. Okay, and there is our picadillo dinner. I have cheddar on there and some raw onion. And then I've got a bowl of salsa, the salsa that we made, and some tortillas that I just cooked up. Ready? Yep. Delicious! Welcome back. He's already been eating. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Get that in there. Wipe my bowl clean. Do me a dip dip. Mm. Mm. That sure added a little flavor. Oh yeah, this also. Mm -hmm. I just made that fresh. Mm. My bath perfect. A couple other things I just wanted to say is this would you can make this with chorizo you can even use regular breakfast sausage mm. any ground meat okay so that is a super easy budget friendly kid friendly dinner i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these please consider subscribing you can find me on instagram at jenny goff 18 i'm also on facebook and you can visit my blog at jennygoff.com for all of my recipes. I will put this recipe card in the description box below for you. Or I'll put the link for the, for the recipe card in the description box below for you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.